very good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome on this new video on Remnant from the Ashes. Today I'm gonna show you how to get the Iron Sentinel mode for your weapon. It's the one that summons the little turret that shoots your enemies. Let's go! Alright, here we are, War 13 as always, and here's the mod. Iron Sentinel summons a full automatic turret that shoots 5 rounds per second and deals 8 damage per hit, and it lasts 30 seconds. Nothing special to add, pretty basic, you cast it on the ground, it shoots your enemies, it provides super fire, and that's pretty much it. But now, let's go, and I'll show you how to get it. You can get this mod in the second world, Rome. And specifically, you need to find the area called Stalker's Den. Now, I'm not sure if this is a randomized area with chance of spawn or not, but if you find a merchant, which I do believe being one of the key points of the game, so always the same for everybody, you should be able to find this area somewhere on the planet. Now, upon entering, you will meet an NPC that will tell you to be quiet. In fact, as you can see around, there's a lot of dogs sleeping here. These dogs will attack you if they spot you. Noise is digging your grave. However, if you don't make too much noise, they won't notice you. You can speak with this guy, you can buy stuff from him. He's a merchant and he does sell you only one item, which is actually pretty cool. It increases your crit chance by 15% for one hour and it's pretty valuable. It's something that you may want to stock up a little bit before proceeding. But anyway, you can talk with this guy, he will tell you that he's part of the pack with the dogs and that they are his family, that they attack on sight any intruder but they will not attack him because he's part of their pack. You can ask him why, you have a couple of options, but ultimately the thing you want to do is to shoot him in the face. And when you do that, you will notice that something breaks. He was in fact wearing a special item that it was making him able to control the dogs. But after you break it, he will be actually attacked by the dogs and killed. Of course, because of the noise, you woke up the pack, and now you are stuck in a boss fight. It's not too much difficult, the dogs are pretty easy to kill, you just need to dispose of the alpha, there is the big one at the center of the room, and after you've done that, you will receive two items. One is the regular item that you normally obtain by killing the pack, and the other one is the special item you obtain by shooting the guy in the face, and you're gonna need that in order to get the Iron Sentinel. Also during the process we will be able to get uh, another mod called Alert's Immunity. This is a very strong mod that will make you 30% more resistance against enemy attack for a set period of time. Now for the Iron Sentinel you need to go back to the merchant area. This time around you have the Control Road, which is the item you obtained by shooting the guy in the face. All you want to do now is heading outside the merchant shop and you will see that there's an alien robot synced in the ground. All you need to do is approach the robot and stick the control road inside the hole. By doing so you will unlock a boss fight that the thing will come to life and will try to kill you. And during the fight this thing will summon the turrets, the same turrets that you want to get by killing it. The fight itself is not too much difficult, the turrets are not that strong, but you need to dispose of them very quickly, otherwise you will be easily overwhelmed. Also, if this is your first time around the area, this guy would probably prove a tough fight. So bring everything you can to put it to rest. Once you killed it, you will receive the ancient core, that's the material you need to craft the mod. Just head back to War 13, talk to the lady, craft the thing, and there you have it the Iron Sentinel. It's quite useful for a summoner build, although I don't really like it much. I would prefer summoning the little minions that, that go around, eat enemies and may pull their aggro with them, rather than something that stays stationary and shoots. But that's all my thoughts. Thank you very much for watching the video, if you did leave a like down below if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Remnant from the Ashes videos because they are coming. I do post a short guide on how to get awesome stuff almost every day, so hit that subscribe button, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Okans out.